let's continue exploring the async keyword and do something very interesting. So the main method will execute and print out a counter, but a function should be executed in the background to do some processing. So how do you do that in C-sharp? So here, as you can see, by standard, we have to use the async keyword to mark our main method here. So this will be the entry point into the program. Async is always needed, and then you've got the return type as task. Again, this is needed as standard. So here you can see something interesting, task. Task is a class type. So if I hover over, you can see it comes from system threading tasks and task. And this is a variable name. And what it's doing is we are just getting it to execute a function. What is this function do background work? So if we go down here, this is what the function looks like. Notice that it also has async and task. Remember, you use the return type as task if your program doesn't return any data type. So here, as you can see, it doesn't actually return anything. What it does is it does some processing. In this instance, it's just writing out lines to the console, but it doesn't have a return type. So that's why you use the keyword task here. And then you can see, so while that is executing, so this will have a delay of 10 seconds, then we start this counter. And this counter is basically going to check if the background task variable here, which is of task class type, and it has a property called is completed. As long as this is false, then what we want it to do is loop and do print out the counter and then sleep and then print out the counter again. And then it continue doing this until this task has finished executing. So this task is basically a function and this function basically has a delay. It has a right line at the beginning to say starting the background task and then finishing the background task. So if I run this program, then as you can see here, the counters keep increasing and then eventually the 10 seconds will pass and there you go. You can see that finished background task and background task completed has been printed. So what it did was finish the background task is here. So the function has finished and then you have after our loop here, we've got the line printed to say background task completed. So the loop, basically this condition is completed and becomes true because it's now complete and the not equal to indicator here doesn't really apply so it will then say yes is completed is now true so now it will execute this line over here so it's quite simple so as you can see all you had to do was use the keyword async and task task is just the return type if your program doesn't return anything and you can just by convention use the word task here and async and that's all that it takes notice i am using the await here because what i will do is wait for these 10 seconds to pass and then print the line but it's waiting for this to finish and then this will get printed but notice here this is different this actually kicks off the task in the background and it just in this instance it's just executing this function here which will do its bit and do whatever that it needs to do while the main thread is actually just going to loop through and print a counter so now so here the counter was working here and then once our function finished it said finished the background task and printed this line and you can see here this is when the background start task started so you can see here that starting background task that's where it happened so i hope you found this useful around async and how you can use it to run a background task